We get thousands of comments on our videos with people saying, if you don't like Section 8 tenants, why do you rent your properties to them? That's cute, kids. The adults are talking now. In real life, you don't always have that option. Recently, some landlords in Washington, D.C., they just lost their license and got fined over $10 million for not renting their properties to Section 8 tenants. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. Welcome to the show. Today, we are talking about this story, and this one is a doozy. Uh, This is an article... I don't even remember what paper it was. It was out of Washington, D.C. D.C.ist, okay? I'm going to link it below if you want to read the full article. Uh, Long story short, man, they done sued these landlords. And uh, these landlords got to pay $10 million. It's actually worse than that. It's not just a $10 million fine, okay? They, They were not renting their properties to Section 8 tenants. And... Dude, they came after them, and they came after them hard. So uh, bullet points of what happened to these. So, like, you know, one of the owners of the company, uh, you know, one of the owners of the landlord company, they do the property management. She's also a real estate licensee, right, just like myself, okay? Uh, So they had to pay $10 million fine. They have 18 months to stop managing in Washington, D.C., they have to get, you know, they have to hand over management of all their properties and they get 18 months to do that. And uh, they, they she lost her license for 15 years, a 15 year license suspension, dude, 15 year license suspension. You got to stop managing property in the area, which doesn't seem like a bad thing because who the hell would want to And a freaking 10 million dollar fine, bro. This is nuts, dude. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking to you guys about, right? The most popular show we have here on Holton Wise TV by far is the Tenants from Hell content, right? And, you know, we chop that up and we do the clips and the highlights and the shorts and we put the shorts and the clips and the highlights, you know, everywhere. We put them on YouTube. We put them on TikTok. We put them on Facebook, Instagram. And those things pop, dude. Like, you know, all of our full-length content, right? We publish that to Holton Wise TV, publish it to HoltonWise.com, right? Uh, the, the, the viewership that that stuff gets is minuscule in comparison uh, to what the Tennis from Hell content, both the full-length stuff and just the little clips, right? Y'all love the drama, okay? You love seeing that Tennis from Hell drama. As a matter of fact, Johnny, when you're cutting up this video... Probably right about this moment in time. Why don't you just hit these folks with like two or three minutes of just, you know, some of the wildest shit. Some of the most popular tennis from hell shit that they're all talking about in case somebody's watching me right now that hasn't seen it before, right? Just give me a nice little montage, right? A little montage from my main man, John, coming to you guys. Because that's what y'all love watching. Y'all love watching that stuff, okay? Jeez, God, God. Oh, God. Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa. Dip. Dude, calm. Okay, I... Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me? whoa, whoa, don't touch the camera. Look, okay, Kristen. Ca- all right, calm down. Hey, whoa, hey. Okay, I get it. You are mad. I understand. You are, you are angry. It's one of the worst fucking stuff I've ever seen in my life, dude. Yeah, pretty bad. Like we'll finish in the bathroom and then we'll play on the fucking basement wall. Holy shit. I have one of Yeah, little fucking ceilings. What the fuck is that? Let me see. Why would she paint the ceiling? Looks like she got slime up there too. Fucking trash. I'm- Assuming this was a ch- children's room. But I told Melinda before, I'm like, did, walking into this house was like walking onto a live set of fucking porn. Honestly, yeah. Get out the way. What? Nice what is this? Good, great electrical system here going on. Uh, Extens- extension cord running underneath metal. 
bathroom is not What is that, a kitchen okay. idea? Oh, good. Oh, my God. Look at all of our fucking dishes are in the in the friggin' bathtub. Well, this thing I built... What's a kitchen? Because like, put more doors off the hinges than on. Now, assuming you're back with me, I assume you just got done watching that montage of uh, Tennis from Hell shit, right? That's the kind of shit y'all like, right? You guys love watching that, dude. Though We get like a million views a month on that stuff. Now, one of the common, uh, common comments we get, we always get people like, if y'all think Section 8 tenants suck and y'all talk smack about the realities of Section 8 tenants, why do you put Section 8 tenants in your property, right? People say that a lot on our videos. And another comment we get a lot is, uh, you know, when I make derogatory comments towards liberals. People are always like, why are you bringing politics? It doesn't got anything to do with being a liberal or being a Democrat. It's just real estate investing. Doesn't have anything to do with liberals or Republicans, right? And that's cute. That's cute that some of y'all out there are so stupid, so dumb. Got your head in the sand so far. It's not in the sand. It's up your ass. Let's face it, right? So freaking. Y'all talk about being woke, man. You're fucking asleep at the wheel. If y'all think uh, that politics and real estate investing aren't hand in hand, and this right here, this this article it, going over a ten million dollar fine should explain it to you. Okay. The fact of the matter is, y'all. Blue areas, blue states, blue cities. Okay run by progressives, liberals, woke Democrats, okay? On a daily basis, they come out with new laws, new insanity, new ways to strip property owners of their rights and turn them into currency and sell them to wokies who don't own anything, who are looking for entitlements, okay? In this example, this is crushing. This is what this is probably the worst one I've ever seen, okay? So for all those out there who think there's no correlation between politics and real estate, this is why, okay? The more liberal the area is, the more left-leaning it is, the crazier the landlord-tenant laws are going to be. And then, of course, there's going to be places that are extremely far to the left, like Washington, D.C., where the landlords have no choice but to rent to tenants on Section 8 vouchers, even if they don't want to, okay? Myself, I've made millions of dollars with Section 8 investing. I love Section 8 investing, right? But there's a caveat to that, okay? In my opinion... Section 8 is great and can reduce the landlord's risk when the landlord has high-risk properties in extremely impoverished, low-income neighborhoods, okay? <clears throat> when you have an extremely impoverished, low-income neighborhood, the people that are willing to live in that neighborhood and can afford to live in that neighborhood, by and large, the whole pool of tenants is going to be high-risk tenants right you know not you know i don't give a shit about being politically correct so essentially low value people right low value motherfuckers okay and when your whole tenant base is all low value people they all pose a very high level of risk to you as a landlord in that scenario your section eight tenants are the best tenants available, though, because they pose the lowest level of risk to you as the landlord because the biggest issue with those areas is actually getting people to pay for their housing. So in that specific scenario, I play in that pool, right? That's my game, Section 8, low-income investing. That's where I've made my millions. I love Section 8, and I utilize it all the time, and I'm a big fan of it, but I feel it's my duty, my responsibility to educate investors like you to show you guys the true reality of Section 8 investing, hence why we do the Tenants from Hell content that you guys gobble up like it's an episode of the Kardashians, right? It's a guilty pleasure for y'all. It's like freaking watching Jersey Shore or something. You guys love seeing it, and I feel like if people are going to invest, they need to know what they're getting into. So I show all the bad stuff, right? 
So, with that said, though, I only invest in red areas, and I love having the freedom to tell you this. While I just explained that Section 8 is the best thing you can get, you're getting the best out of a bad situation, I guess you can call it, uh, in low-income neighborhoods with Section 8 investing, I also love the fact that if I buy properties in a high-income, low-risk neighborhood, I have the freedom to go, this is a very nice neighborhood. The crime is low. Incomes are high. A large portion of the people willing to live in this particular high-income neighborhood have great credit scores, great jobs, good education, solid work history. They will pose very little risk to me. In a scenario like that, those tenants are by and large so much lower risk to me as a landlord than my Section 8 tenants, okay? So I love having the freedom to play Section 8 tenants in my low-income units when I so choose and to not play Section 8 tenants in my low-risk stuff, right? High-risk, low-income, Section 8 tenants pose the least amount of risk to me. High income, low risk, Section 8 tenants pose the most amount of risk to me. And I don't know about y'all, but I got involved in investing in real estate to make money, right? And to make money, I have to mitigate risks. So I love assessing my risks, my return, and I try to make money. And I have the freedom to do that. But folks, if you're in a place like Washington, D.C., you do not have that freedom. That freedom has been taken away from you. And if you choose to operate... (coughs) outside of the bounds, they will come after you. I'm choking. Hold on. If you choose. (coughs) Thank you. Johnny. (coughs) Johnny, put up another minute of tennis rail shit. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. is insane this is insane all right welcome back that uh i was dying there man i get a little choked up i guess when i see uh woke politicians coming after fellow investors so hard hopefully you enjoyed that nice little tenants from hell montage uh that my main man johnny put up for you but what i <clears throat> trying to summarize here for you guys before we get out of here is <clears throat> these are the kinds of things that can happen and you better be paying attention when you're underwriting properties and you're paying attention uh, to what you're doing, where you're investing. Uh, when you're thinking about building your real estate portfolio, do not put your head in the sand and avoid thinking about the politics of the area of the market you're trying to invest in. You need to underwrite and account for this, right? You need to know that if I am going to invest in, say, Washington, D.C., the government is going to tell me what to do, by and large, a lot more than if I were to invest in a place like Ohio or Red State, something like that. This is something you guys need to think about because if you don't, The consequences are severe. Again, these folks, who were they anyway? Uh, Not that I I don't even know if it really matters, I guess, unless y'all want to follow up. But uh, Daro Management Services, Daro Realty, and Infinity Real Estate, right? So it's like three companies, but they're all owned by the same people. You know, it's kind of like us here at Holton Wise, right? Like we have Holton Wise Property Group. We have Holton Wise General Contracting, right? We have like multiple entities linked together, but it's all basically under the same umbrella. Same thing with these folks. 15 
year license suspension, $10 million fine, and they're kicked out of doing business in the city, right? So if you don't play ball with what these woke politicians want you to play ball with, they will come at you, and they will come at you hard, man. Y'all got to watch. Those liberals are weaponizing the law against property owners. And before you guys buy, I want you to think about that. Put that in your noodle before you choose to invest because these things are real. And don't ever let me see one of you dumbasses coming on to one of my videos again saying, Politics doesn't have anything to do with real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.